Hey y'all. So I'm watching my uh, stuff being sold on Silverman Family Values the other day. And I'm hearing repeated cries for silver. Now I do listen. So we got some silver here. We got some 925. We got some 999. And we're going to try to make a few more pours. Some in copper, some in silver. So we have a few items to put up at the auctions that people want. Now, understand, I cannot sell my silver for $2 over spot like some people. I can't do it. I'm paying more than that for it. So, it's going to be priced accordingly, and if it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. But that's why I concentrate on copper and tin and bismuth is because more people can afford that than I can afford to pay, you know, $100 for one, one piece of silver. So, anyway, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to make a few little pieces. Try not to uh, make too much of a mess because this stuff is expensive. And we'll be back at you. Okay, we got uh, triple nine in the crucible. We got uh, all these molds. We got our bucket of copper. We got our 925 here in this can. And we're ready to get started. melted for about 90 seconds. I had to get a little bit more warmth in it. I got my molds I'm going to use right there. So I'm going to put these over here. Turn this off. See if we can pour it. Our main worry is it's going to clump up. Look look bad. Silver is harder to pour in copper. People told me it's the other way around, but that has not been my experience. Wish me luck. Too much. And not enough. Great. That was sarcasm, by the way. That was neither great nor awesome. That didn't waste the time for the rush. I think we may have got one. This is why I 
hate silver, man. Pain in the ass, it never comes out. Ah, it's hot. Literally the only one. This one came out okay. Oh, I lied. Oh my god, it's hot too. Fuck, Jesus. Okay, they all look like shit. Look at that. I don't even know what that black thing is. Guess it matters if it fell off. This sucks. That is garbage. Oh my god, every fucking one of them's garbage. I'm bad. Bad, bad, bad. My god. I was hoping for better, I ain't gonna lie to you about it. Oops, sorry. That big hole in that one. Probably a five ounce chunk of copper, but absolutely messed up. Just absolutely messed up. Tell you man, silver's harder to pour. This crucible should have been retired already. Hopefully my new one's coming to mail today. Wish me luck. All right. Man, I can't believe it. From from my angle, they all look good. Put the silver back in. wasting film. Sorry for the wind. Honestly can't turn it off. Whoa. The uh, silver is melted and the hair has been burnt off the back of my hand. So 
Let's get on with it. Please, God, please. Well, obviously this one didn't have enough in it. And it looks like crap on the bottom. This one has more than enough in it. And it looks like crap. Got giant holes in it. There's a hole that goes almost all the way through it there. It's all kind of just... It's shit. I'm sorry for my language, but it's just a big steaming fucking pile of shit. Can't all be winners. Got more copper and the big skull mold. Brand new. Never had anything in it before. Hopefully this is enough. Don't want to overload these wore out crucibles. Come on, baby. Whoa. Damn it. That is fine. That is my fault there. I poured too much. Put the fat pyramid back in there. Do it without breaking the crucible in half. Oh, that came out good too. Too bad it's so fat. I don't want to go to a lot of trouble to cut that off. Oh, that's still warm. Very, very warm. Very, very warm. Ugh. Phone. Gotta go get the phone. Be right back. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Absolutely perfect. Wish they all came out like that. Look at that. That is, that is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. I wish everything came out that good. All right, we got some more copper heating. We're gonna try the pyramid next. See how badly that comes out. Probably gonna be the last one for the day. I'm really pushing this used crucible to the limit. This is third heat today. So, time to give it a break. My new ones still haven't arrived. So, yeah, if you make it through this one last pour, you're almost at the end. Appreciate you still watching. I wasn't going to film this one, but it has the possibility to go horribly wrong, and who wouldn't want to see that, right? I 
I am really pushing it with this mold. That ain't a whole, I mean, this crucible is not a whole lot. Whoa! Well, like I said, I was really pushing it with this crucible. There wasn't a whole lot left, and when I tried to pick it up, it just broke. That's why you don't put a lot of copper in them when they're thin like that. Nothing we can do with this at this point. Uh, we could get out more crucibles, but it just breaks more. I've tried it before, so we're just going to let it cool. And that will conclude this program. Sorry it ended like this, but had to end somehow. Bye-bye. The copper pores have come out of the vinegar and salt solution. They're in the shine bright, getting all polished up. There's the blob from the last copper where the crucible failed. And if you can hear the sound in the background, that's the furnace. We're going to try to pour this silver one more time. Uh, I don't know. don't know. Maybe it'd be good, maybe it'd be bad. It's silver. Can't never tell. It's just now starting them out. We're just now finishing up now. Anyway, we're fixing to pour it. Wish us luck. I was right about to not be enough silver. Come on, help me out here. Look good, look good. Eh, still hot. Eh, I don't know. What do you think? Still a bit more. It's not. It's not 100 percent, right? It's like 80. Shit. Oh well. Here's what it is. So yeah. What was that? I melted that silver four or five times to get this. And each time you melt the silver you lose just a little bit. Like I said, some people say copper is harder than silver, but that's not been that's not been my determination. But we did get the little tiger, and hopefully the some of the surface will smooth out in the polishing. Uh, if not, it'll have to go back in the pot. But uh, yeah, that's why I don't make as much silver as other people. That and the fact that. Uh, these simple graphite pours don't sell for as much. And you really have a lot of time invested in them. It, it doesn't seem like it would be that way. But until my talent or experience increases, you know, it's going to be that way for me apparently. So we got one good silver piece. Sort of, kind of, maybe. This has been Man Mountain Link here at Man Mountain Metals. And we will talk to you next time.
Yes, I'm getting it now. You are? No. 